Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a template to design your email signature in Microsoft Outlook. First thing you are going to do is visit www.nassaubosies.org backslash email signatures in any browser window of your choice. That will bring you directly to our website page where you will find four email signature template options, as well as other information around email signature protocols here at Nassau BOCES. Take a look at all four signature options and choose the one that best suits your needs. Keep in mind, these are suggested Nassau BOCES email signature templates, and you can edit yours accordingly. I am going to choose option four. Step one is to click and drag to highlight all of the elements of the email signature template that you are choosing to use. Once you have done that, you can click the three ellipsis dots that come up and then copy, or you can right click on the highlighted template and click copy, or you can use your keyboard shortcuts of Control C in order to copy. Once you have that copied, you're now going on to the next step. Now that you copied the email signature template that you like, it is now time to make it your own. Open your Microsoft Outlook desktop application. You are going to click New Email on the top left. In the body of the email box, you are going to paste the email template that you copied. Right click and click Keep Source Formatting when you paste. That will ensure that the format is exactly the way it looks from the page that you copied it from. Now it's time to make it your own. Remember these email templates are generic and you need to update every aspect of the template to reflect your information. Please note these social media buttons are already hyperlinked for you to direct right to the NASA BOCES social media websites. If you chose option number four template, you need to also update your headshot picture. If you've already updated your profile picture, you can use the same headshot that you use in your profile, which I highly recommend. Right click on the image and scroll down to where it says change picture. And then from this device, wherever you have your headshot saved, find that and click on it and then insert. It will automatically update that picture for you. If you have any badges that you want to place here, this is where you would do that as well. We put one in as a placeholder for you, so you could easily again right click and go to change picture to upload your specific badge. You can also remove it. Once your template is fully personalized with all of your information, it is time for you to set it and forget it. Again, you are going to highlight by clicking and dragging your mouse over all of the template. And now you're going to either right click and click copy or use your keyboard shortcut of Control C. Once you have it copied, come up to your menu bar and click signature and then click on the word signatures. You may already have an email signature saved, so you can edit that one or you can add a new one by clicking new. Type a name for your new signature. And here is where you're going to paste your edited template signature. Once it is pasted, I recommend that you come up to the drop-down box underneath your account listed here 
and choose to have that email signature be used for every new message you send as well as every reply or forward that you send. So again, you're setting it and forgetting it. Once that is done, click OK. Then you can delete or close out that message box. Now when you click New Email, your newly designed email signature will automatically be in the body of the email. I also wanted to show you how to change your email signature in the web version of Microsoft Outlook. Go to portal.office.com to open the home page of your Microsoft 365 web account. Once you're on the home page, click on Outlook on the left hand side. If you do not see that app, you can click the waffle and click Outlook from there as well. On the right hand side, please click on your settings gear and then in the search box type email signature. Click on that once it pops up. And again, you will need to title your new signature. Go back to nassauboces.org backslash email signatures. Again, this website and direct link will be in the notes section underneath the video for your reference. Copy the template that you want for the web version. It could be the same one or it could be a different one. Paste that template in the box. And now you're going to do the same thing you did before, personalizing to ensure that the email signature reflects all of your NASA BOCES information. Once you have personalized all of the template, come down and click save. And before you X out, I want to make sure that you again set the default for new messages and replies and forwards to be that new signature template you just created. So do that in the drop down boxes and then click save. Then you can X out of here. And when you click new mail, just like in the desktop version, that newly designed email signature is in the body of the email automatically for you. Please note if you have the Microsoft Outlook application on your cell phone, you will need to set your email signature separately on that device as well. And I also wanted to quickly mention NASA BOCES has implemented an email disclaimer that will automatically be added onto all emails being sent to anyone outside of the NASA BOCES organization. So if you already have a disclaimer in your email signature, you may want to remove that at this time. Now you know how to use a template to design your email signature in Microsoft Outlook. Stay tuned for next week's What the Tech tip. See you then.